Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool video game video for you this evening. Uh, we've been doing some video game stuff lately. We usually do arcade stuff. But uh, we've been going through some uh, backstock of video game stuff, fixing it up and filming little videos of the interesting stuff. So we got this in the other day, probably a week or two ago, and haven't really messed with it yet. But this is a Fire Command 2 uh, video arcade console, as they called it, by Jim, G-I-M. So it's it's basically a, uh, it's like a fight stick, but for back in the day for the Atari. So the thing is still in the box, and it says, adapts to most video games, Atari VCS, Sears VCS, Atari 400 and 800 computers, Commodore 64 and VIC-20, ColecoVision, adaptable. Real arcade control, improves your accuracy and score authentic arcade firing buttons authentic arcade joystick so unfortunately you can see that the ball has started poking through the top of the of the box a little bit so that's a shame but you can see that it came from software city back in the day and it was 39.95 but then it was marked out so maybe they put it on clearance at some point and one of the one of the big deals with this is it had a heavy cast metal base um, the thing is kind of heavy. Aside, Fire Command 2. For the first time, experience real arcade action at home. For the first time, people. And then here's the back. It says, Fire Command 2 uses real arcade controls, so your home game plays like an arcade machine. As I understand it, it's a real joystick from the arcade and real leaf switch buttons from the arcade. Two, Fire Command 2 uses a heavy, unbreakable die-cast metal housing, no plastic, for the feel and stability of a real arcade machine. Three, Fire Command 2 can be used on any surface. Molded rubber feet allows use on glass and other smooth surfaces without movement. Well, I have some glass right here. Four, Fire Command 2 is equipped with a six-foot cord for added convenience. Five, the Fire Command 2 arcade console gives the player pinpoint accuracy and increased firing speed, increasing scores dramatically. So I'm going to be pinpoint now, people. Six dual fire buttons allows for faster firing, left or right-handed, then handheld thumb actuated fire buttons. Good point. Seven, Fire Command 2 uses an authentic eight-way arcade joystick. So, 1983 Gem Electronics. So on the actual joystick it says fire command but the box keeps saying it's fire command too so I'm not sure what that's all about um, there is also some on the box here there's some kind of paint there where somebody's marked out probably a price or something this is what it looks like when we open her up it's got a couple wings there man that is a heavy joystick Did you hear that? I guess that was the bag that it was in originally. And then we have one piece of paperwork here. It's the warranty uh, paper. Gem Electronic Corp. Limited Warranty. Blah, 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 blah. Tells you their address. Etc. 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 So, nothing on the back. So it came with the warranty paper, a bag, the box and the actual joystick. Now I'm sure this has been used. I don't believe it's new. It's cleaned up a little bit. But it is a really heavy joystick. Nice logo on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in and then we'll play a few games and uh, see how it works. Alright folks, I couldn't resist. I took the uh, bottom cover off and it does actually have an arcade style joystick in it so it's got leaf switch a leaf switch joystick and two leaf switch buttons so very cool very very cool um, so I will put it back together and then we'll test it okay folks so I put it back together and we'll test it out I put in Donkey Kong because it's a you know joystick game with a button so uh, Let's try it out. Mm. 
the big heavy base does help it. It makes it where it doesn't move much. Oh, I shouldn't have tried that. That was a sucker move. See everything is working. Let's try the other button. There we go. Oh, that never works on the Atari one. Hard to do. Where's Billy Mitchell when you need him? Let's try a different game. Let's see. I have, let's see what else I've got. Um, hmm. Space Invaders. I didn't really have a, a joystick, but. So Space Invaders didn't really have a joystick in the arcade. It was buttons, but. They got me. I should be getting these last rows. I should be knocking them out. Missed. Gotcha, sucker. All right, let's try another one. Let's see what else we got. Uh, I'm not any good at the arcade version, much less the uh, Atari version. <laughs> oh, I missed him. Sorry, humanoid or whatever they called him. All right, so there you go, folks. That is Jim's 1983 Fire Command 2. It cleaned up pretty good. I've got fingerprints all over it now because I've been playing it, but it actually cleaned up really nice. When I first looked at it, I thought there was some uh, corrosion on it or something, but no, it's actually very clean. Nice, you know, satin finish on it and very heavy duty. And this is on glass. I imagine it would probably be uh, better on something that wasn't slick. So there you go. Leave your comments below if you had one of these back in the day or if you've ever even heard of it. And uh, give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film the video for you. And we'll see you on the next video.